Hi. So before getting into the main operations related to a singly linked list, that is insertion, deletion or traversal, we'll first take some time and we'll learn how to implement a single node because a linked list is basically a combination of nodes. In this video, we're totally going to focus on how to create a single node. Okay. And we are going to use Python, but to be honest, these concepts are more important, not the programming language use. So you can easily learn it in one language and you can, you know, use the same concept in any other language. Okay. So let's start with the coding part. So the first thing that you will do is you will create a class in Python by the name of node. And this is the syntax in Python to create a class. You write the class keyword, then you write the name of the class with a capital letter inside the class. You'll first create a constructor, right? Uh, so constructor is a special method, which automatically gets triggered when an object is created. We'll pass the self object and we are assuming that at the point of the creation of object, a value will be passed the value that the uh, node will be uh, storing. So let's take that value. Now we'll create two class, two variables inside the class. The first one would be self dot data. So you already know that a node consists of two important pieces of information. The first is the data that it stores. And the second is the address pointer to the next node. Okay. So over here in the data part, we'll store whatever value you are getting from the object call. The second part or the second data would be self dot next. This will act as a pointer to the next node. Okay. And let's for now keep this value to be equal to none. So currently it's not pointing anywhere. Okay. And that's the definition of the class right now. And that's done. Now let's create a node uh, by the name of a. So a is basically going to be an object of node class. And since it requires one value parameter, let's pass 13. Similarly, we can also create one more object. Let's pass 20. C is equal to node. Let's say 11. And we have created three objects of the node class. So basically right now I have three objects or three nodes. Okay. I can show you that if I try to print out a, this is what I'm going to get. It says that I don't know how to print a, but I know this for sure that a is an object of node class and it's currently pointing to this memory location. So currently this object is stored at this memory location. So this a is actually pointing to this memory location. Okay. Similarly, if I do B, it's a different memory location, but again, this is an object of node class. Okay. If I try to print out this, a dot data. See on the press of a tab, I'm getting these two values data and next basically these two values. So if I do data, I'm getting a 13 because the value right now is 13, right? Now, if I do this print a dot next, this is what I'm getting none. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll write a dot next to be equal to B. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is I'm taking the next part of my node and I'm pointing it to an object, which is the B object. Okay. And once I do this, you can easily understand what's happening. If I do print B, you can just focus on this number. Okay. And if I do this print a, it's a different object. Right. But if I do a dot next, now you can see that the next variable of a object is pointing to this object. So you have actually created a reference. Okay. Similarly, what you can do is you can write B dot next is equal to C. And likewise, if you print C, this is it. And if I print B dot next, I think you can easily guess both of them will be same because now the next pointer of B is pointing towards C. Okay. So this was what I was trying to, you know, 
tell you in this video. I hope you are able to understand the concept of how nodes are linked. Now using these concepts, we'll learn how to insert a new node in a given linked list in the next video. So thanks for watching.